it's the day before the marathon. I'm currently on like a two mile, very easy run just to shake things out. I'm also gonna walk a lot throughout the day, but anytime that I'm not moving, I'm going to try to keep my feet up. Like, does that make sense? Like, move around, keep things loose, but don't be unnecessarily standing. Like, don't unnecessarily expend any extra energy. Um, stretching out a lot, make sure I'm eating. Lighting, sorry. It's such a pretty fall day in Ohio. Although it's pretty humid and I'm used to Colorado, which is pretty dry. Um, the oxygen, the excess oxygen here does feel good. Like I feel better running, but it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna be sweating for sure. I'm already sweating, I'm only gone a mile. and It's like 9 a.m., but oh well, you know, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. Um, so yeah, just trying to keep it loose. Hopefully I'll just try to enjoy the day. I'm, I'm also trying to study for midterms, which is a little bit stressful but we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna get back to running and I'll check in later. Another thing I forgot to mention is that I'm going to be taking a lot of Advil today. Um, I mean, a lot of water, a lot of sodium, a lot of potatoes, <laughs> but a lot of Advil because I don't really, I, I have to reduce swelling. I don't really have a choice. I am so tight that I kind of have to get like the wood ball out and force apart the muscles surrounding my joints. Like I, you're not really, it's not a good idea if you can help it the day before a race because you might get sore. If I am this tight, I'm not going to be able to run very well. Like if at all make it 26 miles. Like I'm so tight. It feels like my right side is just yanking my left trying to like pull it over to the right it's just not good so like there's not much I can do except force it apart um, and it worked pretty well I did a few days ago for like a four mile run and I felt great on the four mile run so I just need to like hope and pray that works I take a lot of Advil to try to, re to reduce the sw swelling and then I take or the inflammation and then I take I tend to take like two Advil before a marathon anyway just because and then one at mile nine or so um, just inflammation reduction, like, I mean, you're gonna be inflamed. It's probably not even doing that much, but maybe it's just a mental thing, I don't know. But, so, I don't like taking Advil. I am usually like a no medication sort of person, but I, there's not much I can do. <laughs> so, it's gonna be an interesting race. I'm gonna be maybe a little bit sore. Loose and sore is better than tight and not sore. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's supposed to be 70 degrees and 86% humidity at the start of my race at 7 a.m. And I'm just like, oh no. I think I ended it at 70 degrees last year and that was pretty warm and it was not humid. So, and I'm not used to humidity, but we're gonna do the best we can. The feeling of oxygen that I'm not used to feels pretty good right now. So I'm hoping that that's enough to carry me through the humidity and potential soreness. of sleep I don't know if it's like the time difference I'm two hours off or I don't know because I wasn't really overthinking about the race I don't know if it's just like there's too much I was thinking a lot but not really about anything in my life like I just I don't know but whatever you know it got a good sleep two nights ago so hopefully that'll wake up for it I don't know wish me luck <laughs> I know the adrenaline will help it'll get me going I'll be okay Okay, I'm getting there. About five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I always straighten my hair before just because, I don't know, it it makes it longer and makes it, in my opinion, look better. I don't know, whatever. It's a confidence thing, I guess. Wearing what I trained in, of course, for my trial run. I put body glide on, gl glide on to make sure that I don't like chafe in weird places. Uh, deodorant, chapstick. Uh, I did not bring suntan lotion, which I did, but I just didn't think it was going to be quite this hot. Um, in October in Ohio, but it's okay. Uh, I carry a smart water with me for the first like eight miles or so and just drink that and then rely on the water stand after that. Um, I take two cliff bars and I might try to grab the cliff shots as I go on the race. Um, music, Advil, I take two Advil at about my nine miles and two Advil right now after I made a bagel, which is actually not something I normally eat, but it just works for me during races, I don't know. Don't do anything that you don't know works for you though. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep getting ready and hustle on over. I don't know what kind of shots I'm gonna be able to get. 
may ask my mom to get stuff, you know, I don't know. I'll do the best I can. A little bit more focused on the race than the video, but I do want to remember it, so I'll do the best that I can to shoot stuff, but we'll see. See you soon.